Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and in today's video we're going to be going over the all new 2022 Chevy Colorado. In the first part of this video we're going to go over the changes for 2022, then we're going to get into whether or not this truck is all that important, and then we'll finish things up with whether or not you should look into buying a 2022 Chevy Colorado. With all that being said, let's get into the video. Now let's get into the changes for the 2022 Chevy Colorado. And first off, it's not getting refreshed or redesigned. It's still gonna be built off the same platform and it is still going to be the same body style. None of that is changing. And also, you can still get these same packages as before. So everything from the WT all the way up to the ZR2 Bison. And yeah, sorry guys, but it is what it is. Now, aside from that, we are getting a new package on the Colorado, which is pretty exciting. We're getting the Trail Boss package. So I think this is kind of funny that for 2022, we're gonna get a ZR2 Silverado and then we're getting a Trail Boss Colorado. It's kind of like, okay, you know what? We don't have the ZR2 package on the Silverado, so we'll throw it there. We don't have Trail Boss over on the Colorado, so we'll throw it over there. Now, with this Trail Boss package, just like on the Silverado, it does give the truck a lift not as big as what you get on the Silverado. It's just a one inch lift. You get some skid plates as well. And then on top of that, it does come with the 17 inch wheels. And it's also going to come with all terrain tires that are wrapped around those 17 inch wheels and then red tow hooks. And you guys will see with the picture what this truck looks like. It's a good looking truck. It's just like the GMC Canyon AT4. If you guys haven't seen my review on that truck, go watch that review because, well, it's the same as this truck, just different name, different brand logo. Uh, but aside from that, there's nothing else crazy really happening with the Colorado. Uh, and uh, there's nothing really crazy about that package. It's obviously not as capable as the ZR2. So if you still want the most capable Colorado, get the ZR2 or get the ZR2 Bison because those Multimatic shocks and the fact that it's also lifted substantially higher are just definitely worth it. And then if you guys are wondering on powertrains, they're also keeping that the same. So you're still gonna be able to get the 2.5 liter four cylinder, the V6 as well, which is a 3.6 liter, and then the 2.8 liter inline four diesel that is known as the baby Duramax. You guys know I'm a huge fan of that engine. Uh, so that is also going, sorry, to be unchanged as well for this model year. And yeah, that's pretty much everything for the Colorado. Sadly, nothing is happening. Hopefully for the 2023 model year, we'll finally get a new truck, but let's get into the importance of this truck. Now let's get into the importance with this new Chevy Colorado. And to be completely honest, it's not all that important because they're not redesigning it and there's no real refresh. We are getting the Trail Boss package. That is mildly exciting, uh, but it's not crazy exciting because it's not more capable than the ZR2. It's just bridging the gap between a Z71 and the ZR2. And if we were getting like a new Halo Colorado, something above the ZR2, then that'd be really exciting because it would be something that'd be way more capable than what we've experienced before. But at this point, we're getting something that's less capable than what we've already experienced. So it's like, yeah, you know, whatever. I mean, I guess it, the fact that it's less expensive than a ZR2, I guess that is the exciting part. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of the importance. And the other thing is there's other truck makers that are bringing new trucks to the midsize truck segment for the 2022 model year. So I guess that also kind of pushes the Colorado off to the side. We have the Rivian R1T, which is kind of like in between a midsize truck and a half ton truck. So it kind of counts. And on top of that, we have the new Ford Ranger that's coming for 2022 most likely. We definitely have the new Nissan Frontier, which I will be able to drive one very, very soon. I can't talk about it, but I can tell you guys I'm gonna be driving one very soon. There's gonna be an embargo on it and all that. You guys know how that stuff works. but. Um, what I'm trying to say is they really need to redesign the Colorado. So hopefully for 2023, they decide to completely overhaul the truck and give us a completely new Colorado. Now, should you look into buying a 2022 and it really just depends. Again, they're not changing the engine or transmission options and most of the packages are staying unchanged. So if you already have a Colorado, it's probably not worth upgrading unless you want that Trail Boss package. But again, it's less capable than the ZR2. So if you have a ZR2, it doesn't make sense. If you have a Z71, it could potentially makes sense but at the same time you could pretty much turn your z71 into this trail boss package for a lot less money and so probably just go that route again it's just like the gmc canyon at4 again i'll include a link to that video in the description down below so you guys can see my review with that vehicle and kind of how it performs and everything uh, but yeah there's not really a whole lot to talk about with this chevy colorado so i guess that this will be a short video and i guess that the one thing i will say is if you don't have a colorado 
Uh, here's what I have to say. If you are going to be purchasing a 2022, either get the ZR2, the ZR2 Bison, or the Trail Boss, because those ones are going to hold their value the best. If you have the money for the ZR2, I recommend going that route. The Trail Boss package is great, but the ZR2 with those Multimatic shocks is just in, in a realm of its own. But yeah, that's going to sum things up for today's video. If you're stopping for the first time, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe, comment down below what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video.